Hey Scorpios, it's Sunny, and this is your monthly for the month of August 2015. So the vibe that I got for you guys for this month, um, I just felt, I just really got drained out of nowhere. Like I really just did. <laughs> oh God. Alright, um, so a lot of you, like you may, um, be really drained emotionally this month. A lot of you, like you're really worried about, um, your security with people or your finances really big emphasizing on well emphasis sorry, i'm saying i'm wrong on um love relationships and money i keep seeing the number four four talks of your security your stability um how people uh view you how you view others and also for uh four talks about closure floor be mindful of the floor that you walk on. Make sure others are genuine with you. Floor, I guess, um, some of you may feel like a doormat, or you may be treating others like a doormat. But my energy, like, just went down out of nowhere, like, girl, I don't like it. So, hopefully you guys aren't feeling this draining energy, but more than likely you will. You really, really will. The full card talks about new beginnings and new blessings turning your way. Don't be close-minded or naive to certain situations. Alright, just don't be close-minded. The Page of Swords. Stay alert and stand, stand on your own two feet. Stand your ground. And this may be tying into why I said the floor. So stand your ground. Make sure your ground is stable. And also, don't judge others, especially if you are in the same predicament and if not worse. So be careful about that. I am picking up that some of you, like you just really focused on your new beginning. You're focused on um, new blessings. But just... Um, work work um work on yourself continue to work on yourself i feel that some of you are dealing with um some of you you may be cold towards people some of you may also if you are dealing with um an air sign person air signs or aquarius gemini's and libras i do feel that some of you like you may feel as if this person is trying to take your joy away um you may feel as if this person can't be trusted or maybe you need to feel as if they can't be trusted. So just don't be naive with an air sign person. All right. The Tower card talks of some unexpected changes heading your way. All right. Um, there's gonna be some sort of shakeup. Be mindful of breaks within relationships if you are partnered up with people. Um, but this will help you gain a closer look at the relationship, all right? And also be careful of your temper. Be careful of gossip. Please do. The judgment card talks about endings. Forgiving yourself, forgiving others, and moving on. Um, your angels are trying to give you a message. It's time, it's time for you to honestly cleanse yourself. Live on a better path. Live on the right path. Do what's best for you. I'm picking up hypocrite. So pretty much practice what you preach. Like don't feel as if, uh, like don't put, don't display yourself as this holy, oh, I go to church, I praise my God kind of person. But you're doing things that are ungodly. Be careful about that, all right? Because honey, people will find out sooner than later. The magician card, really big karmic energy and karmic month for a lot of you. Understand that actions speak louder than words. I hate to say this, some of you, like you may lose money. You may lose money this uh, this month because uh, my my hand started itching. Um, so be careful about that. You need to be mindful of how you react. I do feel like if you act foolishly or if you do things out of character, this will cause bad karma for you. So be mindful of the way that you treat others and the way that you display yourself. All right? Because it may not be good for you in the end. It may not. And take a, take an account of your own actions. I do feel like some of you like 
good or bad karma is creeping up to you now. So, if you are good and if you've been good and like if you're doing okay, then really good blessings heading your way. Really, really good blessings heading your way. But if you've been bad, then be careful, all right? The Hermit card. Some lessons learned. Some of you, you need to go back to school. And also, some of you, you need to do some self-reflecting to find that inner peace that you've been dying to have. Look at yourself and ask yourself, what do I need to change? You guys have been going through this forever. You really, really have. Understand why you do the things you do. Understand what you need to improve on. Also, the Hermit card is also a representation of Virgo. So some of you, this could go either or. You may have a new beginning with the with the Virgo, or you need to take a closer look at this Virgo. Like, don't be naive and don't be close minded towards this Virgo person. All right, so just be careful and be patient. Some of you, um, okay. Well, after August, it's Virgo. Okay, so no, some of you you may receive a fresh start or a new beginning towards the end of this month. Because that is starting Virgo season. So, good blessings heading your way if you allow for them to come and if you take a close look at yourself. So, that's, yeah, you need to do that. Three of Swords, some delays. Some delays for you. Maybe broken heart. So, really big chance that a lot of you, like you are going to gain some breakup within your relationships. All right. Um, especially like if you've been wanting a relationship to happen, like you may, you may be single yet your heart is with someone else. You may need to get your heart back because this person ain't doing nothing but stabbing you in the heart. All right. Um, some of you like with this air sign person, there may be some delays between you and this air sign person. However, some of you are, some of you may be growing cold because your heart is aching. So if you can do meditations upon your heart chakra, um, a light, a lot of green candles. And extra God and your angels for healing upon your heart. All right, because some of you really, really need that. But also, I'm picking up that some of you, like, you may notice that the people who are being catty and gossip may be your family or your best friends. So be careful of who you tell your business to. Don't be naive with everybody. All right. Um, you guys are understanding that really um, not many people can be trusted. And if not, you may be doing the same thing towards other people. And people may discover that you're selling their business behind their back. And this is going to be a lot. Alright, so just anything, anybody's business, it ain't got nothing to do with you. Be mindful of, of the things that you tell other people because it's going to go back around and the truth will come to the light really, really soon. And if you don't want that, just stick to yourself. Do some self-reflecting on yourself and stay focused on your goals to achieve your new beginning, alright? But the page of cups i listen to your intuition some of you if you are casually dating be careful about that because it's just going to be maybe unexpected pregnancies especially if you are not using protection so be careful about that a lot of you you may be tied into a water sign person water signs are cancer pisces and maybe another scorpio a lot of shake up and break up between you and this water sign person um, the Page of Cups is underneath the Tower card, and it's looking at the Three of Swords. So a lot of you, like, you do feel heartbroken. And you, be careful of your, of your um, temper. Because some of you, you may blow up, and you may blow up at the wrong place and the wrong time and on the wrong person. So be careful about that. Don't take your anger out on other people, especially if they had nothing to do with it. Be careful, okay? Yeah. The Five of Cups. Some disappointments for you guys. Some of you are really regretful upon a few things. You are focusing on your downfalls and you need to focus on the things that you've accomplished so far. The Five of Cups is underneath the Judgment card. So a lot of you, like you may be having a tough time forgiving others. Or you may have a tough time forgiving yourself within certain situations. Especially if your children are involved. Especially if children are involved. A lot of you, like, you just feel as if you've disappointed your God. Or a lot of you, you may feel as if God doesn't hear you. Don't do that. Because God will, like, 
do, do something in return. You may not like it, or you may like it. Honestly, it depends on the situation. But just never doubt your God and your angels from the path that you're on right now. Because you need to learn a lot that you need to learn. And this honestly depends upon your energy. The Five of Pentacles. So a lot of you, a lot of foundation breaking up going on. Things are not in your control. Things that will change will not be in your control. Also, some of you, yeah, okay, this is really tying into me saying some of you, depend, depending upon your action, you may lose money. All right? You may lose some money, but you, you need to be mindful of how you react and how you treat others. Some of you, you may um, have to move. Unwillingly, you may have to move. Not all of you, just some. So be careful about that. Some of you are, you may have relationships and it may have been so good. And you are just like, oh my God, I'm in love with you. I want to marry you. But a lot of you, like you would just feel as if this love relationship would always be forever. Some of you, like like I said, you may be tied into a soulmate um, partnership. But I do feel like a lot of your relationships will end. Regardless of if it was the best thing in the world, it's going to end. Because it's something that you need to learn. It's really something that you need to learn. On a brighter note, some of you, you need to go to school. If you are single, be careful casual dating. If you are not casually, if you are not casually dating, pay attention to your intuition. I do feel like some of you, your intuition may get really, really strong. You may have pains in your third eye. A lot of headaches. Um, get rid of past heartbreak. Take a closer look at yourself. Please go to school. Forgive others. Forgive yourself. Stop wearing so much. Stop focusing on the bad. Actions speak louder than words. Some of you may gain employment. Some of you may. But honestly, this is all about... That's my um, oven. This is all about you um, be mindful of how you give offer to the universe. This is a really big karmic month for you. And I really feel like a lot of you have been going through a lot of karmic energy. But I do see some delays within heartbreak. I do. I really, really do. But some of you, I am picking up that you can't be naive with the Virgo. Or maybe you want to start a new beginning with the Virgo. Honestly, it depends upon what's in your chart and what's going on within your life. But honestly, just remain cautious no matter what. But the overall energy for this month, be careful of you moving to your past. Like just going back to past issues. Be careful of you rushing things. And also, be careful of your temper. Be careful of harsh words. Please, be careful about that. And also, be careful of the gossip. People, I really do feel like people are going to gossip about you this month. And it may hurt your feelings. And you may not like it. And you may want to fight to defend yourself. But honestly, put it in God's hands. You can't fight the world. You can't. So... You taking up for yourself just may bite you in the ass. It may. Some of you, like, you may go to jail. Like, some of you, like, you may get hurt real bad. Don't do that. Like, don't. Your mindset for this month? Yeah, you want to move forward. You're determined to move forward, and you will do whatever it takes to move forward. You are just like, fuck it. I want to move forward. I want my new beginnings. I want my new blessings. So I mean, it is what it is. However, if you are not experiencing gossip, because some of y'all just be in y'all feelings. If you are not experiencing gossip and you feel like your life is okay, you are moving forward the best way that you can, which is causing you to gain the determination that you need to move forward. So I do feel like if you are on a good path and if you feel a lot of good energy, all right, if you feel like things are working in your favor, this month will be good for you, but just know that shakeups will occur. All right. You may gain some lessons learned. Things will not be in your control. This is your God's way of letting you know that you need to see there's so much more that you need to learn. And there's so much more that you need to experience before um, you gain the things that you want. Yeah. Because the rest of the cards that I pulled out is really, really good. Especially like if you feel as if things are going okay for you. All right. Some of you, you may be dealing with a Sag. Try to find balance with the Sagittarius person, whatever the case may be. Um, 
please try and find a balance be careful of past people coming back within your life if you allow past people to come back within your life then i do see some delays for you some of you you may gain a job opportunity and it's going to benefit you in the long run and will um be generous help out people allow people to help out you pay attention to your spirituality and the messages that your god and your angels um present to you okay so i honestly feel like this month could go either way it honestly depends upon how you've been treating yourself and how you've been treating others all right for some of you it could be good for some of you it could just be really disappointing and heartbreaking it seriously depends so yeah try and have a good month this month some of you you may need to move on from a fire sign person you may you may so be careful my scorpios be careful of your emotional self and like i said a lot of things will not be in your control this month so learn this lesson apply it to you really grow up not in a bad way but like each obstacle you grow from it so allow yourself to grow allow yourself to you know feel good like even if it sucks you went through it for a reason and that is making you stronger so be strong be strong and i will see you guys in the next video bye